Hi, this is Chef Award Shot. Today I'm going to show you how to make homemade dinner rolls. You'll be able to find all the amounts of the ingredients you'll need in the bottom of the video and also inside of the description box to the link that takes you directly to the blog. So let's go ahead and get this recipe started. So in the bowl, I'm going to put in one cup of more milk, a quarter cup of warm water, two tablespoons of melted unsalted butter, two eggs lightly beaten, this is a quarter cup of sugar, one package of um, instant yeast, must be instant yeast not the active dry, instant yeast, there's a huge difference. You can't dissolve instant um, after dry yeast and liquids as quickly as the instant yeast. And that was one and a half teaspoons of salt. And I'm gonna let this mix just for a minute. Now I'm going to um, add two cups of flour. And I'm going to turn this on a little and let this um, mix. And then gradually adjust the speed to medium. I'm going to let this mix for about two minutes. And turn it off. I'm going to remove the paddle. And I'm going to add the dough hook. But before I add the dough hook, I'm going to add two more cups of the flour. Actually, I'm only going to add one and a half cups of the flour. Because I have a phobia of adding too much flour to my dough. And this is the first time I'm making this particular recipe. Better to add not enough flour than too much. Okay, I'm going to mix this on low. The total recipe calls for four and a half cups of flour. Then after the two cups of flour mixed together with the paddle attachment, slowly add the remaining flour. So I'm just going to let this go for a minute, just so I can see how the dough is going to pull together. If you don't have a mixer, you can do this by hand using a wooden spoon. Once the dough becomes too stiff, you change from the wooden spoon to a using your hands. Okay. So this is very sticky still. So I'm going to add um, half of the remaining flour. And if I need to add more, I will. I'm going to let this go for a minute. So I'm going to. Um, Feel the dough. It's still rather sticky, so I'm going to add all of this flour here. And this is going to be a total of four cups so far. I'm going to grab another half a cup just in case. So let this knead for a couple more minutes. Um, I'm just going to pull the dough off the hook and um, kind of help the flour absorb into the dough. I'm just going to um, use my hands to kind of press the flour in. And this, this is basically known as scraping the bowl with your hands. You can use a spatula if you want. Okay. Because it's on low speed, I'm going to let this go. I'm going to let this go for about three minutes. So this has been going for about three minutes. I'm just going to show you the dough. 
it's still slightly sticky but it's not sticking to my hands and that's how you want the dough to be it's not really sticking to my hands you know so we may add a little bit more flour in it but I'll do it when we need the dough by hand when we pull everything together so if it starts to stick to the side of the bowl too much I'll add about two or three tablespoons of flour but just let this go for about five minutes in about two minutes if it's sticking to the size of the bowl still add a couple of tablespoons of flour okay I'm gonna turn the machine off I'm gonna remove the dough from the hook and I'm gonna move the mixer I'll be right back so I'm gonna lightly dust my surface the flour I'm just kind of pull the dough out of the bowl it's not too sticky but I left it sort of sticky on purpose so when I went to need to shake the dough by hand it wouldn't um, affect the outcome of my flour my bread so I'm just gonna knead this just a few times I'll just put like two tablespoons of flour on the surface dough to the middle just to create a ball and pinch it and I'm going to um, put this in a bowl cover it and let this sit for about an hour okay it's been almost a full hour the dough is ready I'm going to push all the air out of it and then I'm going to divide this into 14 equal parts you can just eyeball it I'm going to use a scale to weigh mine. The way I'm going to shape my rolls is just roll it into a ball, each piece. Then you're going to grab it by the bottom and pinch each side in. So that's the bottom, I pinched it. You're going to dip the top of it in some uh, melted butter. And I'm going to place this uh, to a 8 inch cake pan. I'm going to put 7 in one pan and 7 in the other. So I'll be back. Just um, follow these steps. So I shaped all of these into balls. And there are 14 total. So I got two pans here. And I dipped them all in butter. So these are going to sit for about 45 minutes now. Until double or until double the size. So 30 to 45 minutes. Okay, now the dinner rolls are going to go in a preheated 375 degree oven and they're going to bake for 15 to 20 minutes. Here are my dinner rolls. These cooked in the oven for about 18 minutes. I hope you guys try this recipe and enjoy it. Please do not forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Also, follow me on Facebook and Twitter and you can follow my blog at www.cookingwithavore.com. And also, remember to live and be well. Do all you can to stop all bullying and abuse. Thank you for watching.